Hi everybody, welcome back for another tarot tea time. Okay, so this is kind of an emergency tarot tea time because let me read you guys this from, I think it's an article that was in The Sun. Yep, The Sun, okay. So Britney Spears did a post yesterday and she basically like had several pages. She's been doing those long posts. Anyway, uh, in this post, some of the things that she said caused, I'm just gonna read from this article, caused followers to question the pop star's relationship status because of what came at the very end of the message. All right. She was talking about her dog here, and she said, Sawyer made me feel more loved in nine seconds than any, than any man I've ever been with. No bull s, no words. Pure genius protection because of one thing. He loves me, in all caps with an exclamation point. Okay, you guys? The mother of two added, the kind of love that doesn't require power, sex, lust, or money. Okay, now, for obvious reasons, you guys, a lot of people thought that this could be some sort of commentary on her relationship with Sam Asgari. Because, like, if we really think about it, you're not going to post about a dog and say that, like, it's the best love you've ever received when you have a fiance if you're super in love with him. Do you know what I mean? Like, it just seemed a little bit, it seemed like it's worth getting some tarot tea on. I'll leave it at that. So I'm going to have a little sip of my tarot tea. Yes, we are back to red wine tonight because we are celebrating, finishing a lot of work. Cheers, you guys. I hope you're having a good week too. Let's get down to this tea. I'm also a little bit, I'm a little nervous about this tea because I really want Brittany to be happy. I know you guys do too. But I don't know. This post really, really seemed like kind of a, you know, when people will be like kind of passive aggressive because they're mad at their significant other. Like, I don't know. Let's just find out what the tarot tea says and see if we can get to the bottom of this. Okay, so what was Brittany's intention? What was the energy behind that post? The King of Pentacles. Okay. Guys, I already have goosebumps and I haven't even like interpreted the cards. So this is some intense energy we're getting. And I'm going to say right off the bat, they had, Brittany and Sam had some sort of disagreement about money or career, finances. We have King of Pentacles. So there's definitely a big power struggle with money. Like who's ruling the money? And that does make sense because in that post, she said like money, power, she mentioned that those as being things that she has struggled with in relationships. And I do think that she's wanting us to read between the lines here. Okay, interesting. All right, so oh, let's get some more details on that. Um, what was Sam's role in this money disagreement? How did he show up in the disagreement? The Six of Pentacles. Wanting, okay, so if we look at the person on this card in the Six of Pentacles, they're like holding all these gifts that they're like giving away. So I'm going to interpret this to mean, oh my gosh, guys, goosebumps all over. The energy, like I, you guys, when it gets really like intense, it's crazy. Anyway, okay, sorry. That was just like bizarre to me. It's like already there. Um, Six of Pentacles is like giving away money, giving things away. So I'm going to say that Sam's spending, I know this sounds so weird, you guys, and don't get mad at me. It's just the tarot tea. This is what the tarot cards are saying. It's not me. I'm just interpreting. <laughs> Don't shoot the messenger. Um, something about the way that money is going out, something about generosity. And I am going to say because I was asking for Sam and his energy, I'm going to say that he, like this person has like all these presents. I'm going to say he just, he started to spend. He started to feel a little more comfortable spending and maybe he even bought some gifts for some other people like Something was going on. Brittany was feeling a little weird about the money situation. I'm going to say she was feeling a little bit taken advantage of in some way, which is really sad. Okay, let's get some more info. So, um, bup, bup, bup. let's get more information. Like, let's get another clarifier on that, and then let's get the outcome, and then I'm going to let you guys go because it's getting late, and we need to get some sleep tonight, okay? More info. The Hierophant. Okay, this is the card of the teacher. Interesting. So there are some lessons being learned right now in their relationship. 
I need another clarifier, though, because that's a little vague for me. Three of Cups, emotion, celebration, okay. Yeah, so I'm going to say that they are definitely learning. Oh, my God, goosebumps everywhere. It's so weird. They are definitely learning about how they spend money differently. They're learning to compromise they're also learning about like, you know, you know how people have different thresholds for like what they think is a splurge and what they think is like not a big deal. I definitely think that it's a little different. Brittany is more frugal than Sam. And I think that because she earned the money, she never really got a chance to spend it. I just think she still has a few hangups with that. And you know what? I get it. Makes sense. I think we can all put ourselves in her shoes and well, not really. Poor woman. She's been through so much. But I think that we can empathize with how that would feel for her. And I think that Sam, the Hierophant, is learning, or he's learning from that Hierophant card. He's learning how to figure that out, how to navigate that. And uh, I don't know, guys. At the bottom of the deck, as I'm, ta as I'm talking, at the bottom of the deck, Nine of Swords, the anxiety card. Guys, that post, okay, so based on this, what we've gotten so far from the tarot tea, that post was very, very thinly veiled. It was a direct commentary on Sam. They had a fight. They've been struggling with some differences with how they spend money and with some power dynamics in the relationship. And um, yeah, they're, they're struggling with that right now. So what's interesting is, I, where was I listening to, I was listening to something. I listened to like a million podcasts and someone was talking about how they didn't think that that message was directed towards Sam, that it was just like, oh, when you love dogs and whatever, like it was just totally fine. Like I can relate, like I love dogs too. Okay, I love dogs also, but that was very pointed. I thought that was super direct and based on the tarot tea, it's confirming. So <laughs> you guys just substitute Sam in there, just insert Sam's name in there, and that is what she was trying to say about her relationship with him and some things that she's really disappointed in him about. I don't think that she wanted to directly, like, out him, but I do think that she's frustrated enough to where she is kind of toying with the idea of telling the public about it. I, I would say this could be, like, such a bad fight that they could be on the verge of a breakup from it. Let me see. Let's get another. Queen of Swords, whoa. Okay, you guys, Queen of Swords, this is the card that I always draw when it's like a woman going through a breakup because she's making a decision that's best for herself. The Queen of Swords, um, Swords is the card of like thinking. So when people go through a breakup, a lot of the time they have to cut off, you know, the relationship that no longer serves them. So they have to get out of their emotions and get into their head to really make the best choice. Uh, when people go into that state of mind, they can become a little bit more callous, not because they want to be, but because they have to. They have to look at things from a logical perspective in order to make the right choice and get through it. Guys, this is my this is my female breakup card. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Are they did they break up? Are they breaking up? Queen of Wands, passion, not yet, because, but I'm going to tell you why, because passion, and this is Brittany, we're like, we have the Queen of Swords, oh my gosh, okay, let's break it down, we have the Queen of Swords, and we have the Queen of Wands, this is a woman who is making logical decisions, who is not afraid to cut somebody off, and who is seriously considering breaking up with, it, with Sam, definitely breaking, considering it, like, heavily and then the reason that they are not broken up yet we have this queen of swords there's a lot of attraction that she feels towards him the fact that we got the king of pentacles when we talked about the issue tells me that there's a little there's an issue with some greediness she's definitely on high alert and she's considering breaking up with him she isn't right now because there's still a lot of love there but um yeah you guys they're on super shaky ground and i would interpret that message as a direct, direct, direct comment towards Sam, almost like a warning, like letting him know that she's not afraid to go public with things and that if 
they don't work things out. Like, in a way, she was kind of trying to show him that she's not afraid to start, you know, speaking her mind about their relationship as well because she's growing in so many different ways. And I believe they met in 2016. So if we think about how, and correct me if I'm wrong, you guys, in the comments, but if they really did meet and start dating back in 2016, now in 2022, she's, like, freed from the conservatorship. I mean, we've got to imagine that the power dynamics would majorly shift anyway, right? So I'm not surprised by this, and I would actually be more surprised if they ended up going all the way to the altar. I don't know. Anyway, okay, let's get one last card of, like, just the state of their relationship for the next six months, and then I'm going to let you guys go because we got to get some sleep tonight. Nine of Cups, self-care. Okay. Um, guys, the self-care card is definitely not like a relationship card. <laughs> um, I'm going to say that Brittany, within the next six month span, I think that she's going to take a little step back. She's going to get out of her, I don't know, she's going to take off her rose colored glasses for a second to really evaluate whether or not this is truly the next step that she wants to take in her life. Um, she may be at a point where Queen of Swords energy, she doesn't feel like she really needs him in her life anymore. You know, that's okay. Reason, season, or lifetime, right, for those relationships. Sometimes you do outgrow people. You do outgrow different relationships. It's nothing bad, but um, she might just be in a place where she doesn't feel like this relationship is fulfilling anymore. So we will have to stay tuned, but I'm just going to say the tarot T prognosis is not great. We may see some more issues with them coming out in the media over the next six months. We may hear about a breakup within six months to a year possibly. But yeah, guys, it's, um, it's very sad, but it's not looking great for them. But just remember, don't be too sad because if it's not meant to be, there is definitely someone else for both of them that is a better fit and, you know, life is all about growth. So thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed this tarot tea time. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. It's important to exercise your intuition. The more we use it, the stronger it gets. So use your intuition. Let me know what you guys think. And be sure that you subscribe and turn on those notifications if you haven't already so that you never miss a freshly brewed cup of tarot tea. Also, I'm putting down here in the description box one more thing. Um, my podcast. I have season two of my podcast that's out now. And so, or I'm I'm releasing episodes. Guys, I'm too tired. This is literally my first class. Like, good Lord, I need to go to sleep. Um, <laughs> I am releasing season two now of my podcast, Aries season, all the info you guys need for your Aries season from how to dress, how to channel that Aries season star, um, <laughs> affirmations, all that good stuff when you click that link. Okay. I love you so much. I'm gonna go to sleep. I'll see you guys in a couple days.